Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the important questions of this subject uh, Construction Materials and Technology. Basically in Civil Engineering third semester they have a uh, uh, construction materials and technology subject. So unit 1 is consist of stone, brick and uh, concrete blocks and then lime. So the unit 2 consists of other materials and uh, unit 3 consists of uh, construction practice and service requirements. Then unit 4 is construction equipment and uh, unit 5 is construction planning. So Basically, all the universities and uh, autonomous institutions having this uh, subject. So now, uh, the unit one, the important question is, uh, first question is explain the test on stones. So test on stones consist of impact test, crushing test, water absorption and the operation test, then tensile strength test, then acid test. Okay. So second question is uh, explain the good qualities of stone. So what are the uh, characteristics and what are the parameters for the good quality of stone? So then uh, manufacturing process of bricks so there is a, a lot of process in manufacturing of bricks so that is a preparation of clay uh, then uh, molding so drying and burning is the process of bricks then good quality and uh, properties of uh, bricks then classification of bricks so there is a first class bricks second class bricks and third class bricks also there uh, based on the strength uh, they we classify the bricks so the next question is four test on bricks so the uh, test consists of compressive strength then water absorption efflorescence test then size and shape test so then next question is uh, short notes on lightweight concrete blocks then uh, seventh question is concrete blocks manufacturing process uh, then eighth question is step by step procedure for the manufacturing of lime and lime water okay so these questions are very important for uh, first unit so then second unit having a lot of uh, weightage and a uh, lot of subtopics are there. So the first question is uh, market forms of timber. Uh, then second question is uses of timber uh, as a building material. Uh, then uh, explain the wiener and plywood uh, question. So then uh, next question is uh, defects in the timber and the seasoning of timber. So there is a, a natural seasoning and artificial seasoning is there. So then next thing is uh, fall sealing materials. So next question is uh, steel manufacturing process. Process. Then next question is application of steel and timber in construction. Then uh, market forms of aluminium and their uses. Next question is application of geo membrane. So next question is FRP the fiber reinforced polymers uh, with application. So next question is classification of ceramic materials. Then uh, next question refractories and properties and then uses. Next composite material and uses. Next question is geo textile as a earth reinforcement. So from that very important question is uh, market forms of timber, then uh, wiener and plywood. So next question is application of uh, steel and uh, timber in the construction. Next one is market forms of timber is very important. Then application of geo membrane and application of deer textile. So these questions are very, very important for the examination point of view. Uh, unit 3 construction practice and service requirements so here uh, the first question is uh, explain the type of foundation so there is a uh, shallow foundation and deep foundation as there so then uh, second question is different type of stone masonry uh, so the rubble masonry and acellar masonry uh, then uh, next question is different type of brick masonry that is uh, a bond between the mason uh, bricks that is english bond flemish bond header bond stretcher bond is there that so next thing is uh, different form of soaring okay so then uh, scaffolding techniques and underpinning is an important question so next question is uh, different type of uh, joints in construction that is expansion joints contraction joints and construction joints so next question is thermal insulation and damp proofing okay so these are all very important questions in the unit 3 then unit 4 uh, there is a uh, six questions are there so first question is the equipment used for earthwork excavation so earthwork excavation what all the equipment we going to use then earth moving equipment so uh, we having the scrappers like that uh, the earthwork equipments having the back hue um, or uh, power shovel like that so then uh, different concreting equipment that is concrete batching plant and concrete mixture uh, then vibrator so these are all the equipment uh, used for concreting work so then uh, next question is uh, material handling equipment so that is erection equipments are there uh, the material handling that is uh, conveyors are there so then erection equipment so there is a uh, cranes uh, for erection the uh, framed structures so then uh, next question is uh, different type of pumps we use it for dewatering purpose okay so these are all six questions important for the unit 4 
so then unit 5 is construction planning so first question is stages of construction planning so job planning and uh, execution planning everything is there so then second question is uh, difference between critical path method and pert that is program evaluation review technique so next question how to calculate the critical path and critical duration so the critical path is the maximum duration in the network path that is called uh, uh, critical path and the duration is called critical duration so next thing is various time elements to find out the critical path method so next uh, that is uh, early start time early finish time later start time and later finish time is there so next question recommend the schedule technique for micro uh, sorry metro construction projects like that so these are all the questions uh, in the case studies likewise so next question is explain different type of construction plans so there is a plans a strategic plan standing plan single use plan administrative plan is there so next question draw the network uh, arrow diagram and illustrate the following events that is event dummy activity and uh, time estimate start and finish float critical path variance and standard deviation so everything we have to uh, notify that so next question is precedent relationship between among the activities so there is start, start to start uh, start to finish finish to start uh, finish to finish is there so next question is a problem we can find out the activity is given and the duration is given so we have to find out the critical path uh, and the critical duration then activity float is we have to find out so uh, these are all the some important questions in unit 5 okay so again we will see next video thank you